So here I am filming, making that recipe all nice for you guys. And if you guys watch through the door there, who do we see? Mr. Man, yo, he watches everything I do, boy. Zaire, Palos, say hello to the people, man. So we'll need a nice big heavy pot. I have two cups. Well, it was two cups of red beans when I started off with and it doubled in size because I had it soaking in water overnight. This is one of the stars of the show. After you soaked it overnight, I would recommend that you drain that water out and you rinse it so that you got nice, and these are dried beans, they're nice and plump now. And that's gonna help bring this together faster. To that, I've got a medium onion. I've got some thyme, a scotch bonnet pepper that I chopped up. A ton of garlic, that's about eight cloves of garlic that I got there. And I'm layering things because I'll add the liquid after. The pot is not even on it, to be honest with you. And while I call this a soup, you can call this a stew, you can call it a boil. Because pretty much all we're doing is putting all those flavors and ingredients together. Use quite a bit of that black pepper and you're gonna just bring it up to a boil and let it simmer until everything is nice and tender and falling apart. We need scallions. Just gonna give it a rough chop and that's about six scallions there. And you already can tell there's gonna be a ton of flavor in here. Yeah? The second, I'm just draining it out right now. The second star of the show, that is some breadfruit. And it's pretty much uh, a mature breadfruit that I peeled and I cut up into, into big pieces. The third sort of star of the show. It is a red bean and breadfruit soup. Those are the two main ingredients, but it's sort of sub ingredient that I like adding in there. That is some salted pigtail. And I've boiled it and I've cut it up into one inch, one and a half inch pieces. It's been boiled in water for about 45 minutes. That's because there's, too, there's gonna be too much salt if you don't. Plus I want to make it nice and tender as well. And the final sort of base ingredient I have going in here is two sweet potato and two medium sized carrots. We're gonna to top that up now with liquid, but I do want to add a couple other ingredients in here. More flavor, and I have here Caribbean green seasoning, and I want a heaping tablespoon of that Caribbean green seasoning. Caribbean green seasoning, I have it stored in my bottle here. It is a puree or a blend of all the herbs we like using in, in just about everything we cook. Um, additionally, there's a ton of garlic in there. There's uh, pimento peppers, which are seasoning peppers. So, yo, it's just all about flavors and niceness, and that is blended or pureed with olive oil, and I keep it in the fridge, so I always have it on hand. I have some coconut powder, some coconut milk powder. If you have fresh coconut milk, by all means, rock that. And now all we're gonna do is pour water in there, and bring, we're gonna cover everything with water, and we're gonna bring it up to a boil. I've started to see bubbles starting to to come up all on the edges here. So what I'm going to do is as soon as I have more of a rolling sort of boil, I'm going to turn down the heat and I'm going to just let it go on a sort of a simmer. We want this to go low and slow. Um, it will break down, the, the breadfruit will break down, the carrots, all those things will break down, the, the beans, the red beans will break down in there. Couple things, if you wanted to put a little bit of grated ginger in here, you can. And if you are into those chicken stock cubes, you can certainly put one in there as well. I'm on much prefer to make my own homemade stock. Unfortunately, I don't have any right now, but low and slow now, Irie. <laughs> Sup, soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm really trying to tell people the email address, then butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And, Tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irie? Irie. It's been going for an hour and 35 minutes. Things are nice and thick. It says, you notice all the liquid has reduced down. The peas are nice and tender. That sweet potato is falling apart. You can, yo, 
a salted pigtail, breaking down nicely. Now, if salted pigtail is not your thing, if swine is not your thing, smoked turkey will work good in here, smoked uh, beef or salted beef. But just look at that niceness here. Everything is nice and thick and fully tender. You will notice that I didn't add any salt whatsoever to this. And that is because the remaining salt from that salted pigtail, yeah, even though we boiled it and we cooked it and everything else, it will have remaining salt, was enough to fully season this for me. Taste it, adjust it. Now, I want you guys to notice something. Notice how thick that is? That will thicken up even more. So if you wanted to add some more water to here, you can certainly do that. Keep in mind, when it cools down, it will thicken up quite a bit. How I like finishing this is one, that is some chopped up bird pepper or Thai chili or bird's eye pepper. This one here is the green one, totally different flavor. The other thing I like doing, and you guys know I like doing that, is to finish it off with a little bit of parsley. If you wanted to add flour dumplings, the last five minutes is when you would add flour dumplings or cornmeal dumplings, whatever tickles your fancy. But Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. A nice, thick, wholesome, wintertime kind of dish. You know, it's minus two degrees Celsius outside right now. So I'm going to tuck in and have some fun. Yeah? Enjoy.